tutorial is going to show you in Microsoft Excel how to use a number of tricks and tips to make a nice pretty self-calculating chart like you see here. Uh, what I've done uh, previously I sent out just a simple task for you to record your data in at least 10 uh, tests of your catapult, trebuchet, or whatever you decided to use uh, in this activity. What you're going to do here, so you'll basically have something similar to what I have here where we have our test number, distance, time and error, and what change we made between trials. So each one of your trials, you would have had to say, all right, I adjusted the lever arm, I did a pivot point, anything that you did on each one of those. So we've got these things in order. Now let me show you something, show you a trick, a quick trick uh, to create a list of numbers. Now to create this list of numbers, you're gonna start off with number one. Now, rather than entering two and three and four all the way down, what you're going to do is you're just going to simply type an equal sign on your keyboard. Equals, you're going to click the one right up above, and you're just going to add one plus one. Now, that was, that was more difficult than me just entering two, but watch what happens once I drag this entire thing down all the way down to the bottom of my list it automatically enters it for you. And so, I mean, and this is only 10, but if this were a thousand or a hundred even, uh, it makes life a little bit easier as far as numbering your list. So we got test number one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to 10. And what I'll do in order, when I'm grading this is I'm gonna check and see that you did in fact punch the, uh, the formula in and copy it down to number 10, or maybe you tested 20 times, whatever. Um, but at least we're, we're asking for at least 10 trials. All right, the next item that I'm going to show you how to do is how to calculate an average, also known as a mean, in a list of different uh, data. So it's pretty simple. Uh, what you're going to do, we're going to click, and the idea here is I'll, I'll refer back to the box that we're trying to aim for. We're going to do this average. So we're going to put somewhere down here below your numbers. We're going to say average mean. So if we go back here. Just type average, also mean. This is where we're going to enter our formula. Our formula always starts with an equal sign, equal sign. And what you're going to do is you're just going to type average, A-V-E-R-A-G-E. -E, and you'll see that the, there's a list that populates. You're going to click average. Then you're going to do a parentheses. You're going to highlight over top of the boxes that you have your data for. Close the parentheses and hit enter. And that gives you your average of this list of data. Now, another quick shortcut I'll say to show you save you some time, just like we did with the test numbers. You can actually drag this formula over. And it'll find the average of those in the next column here. Our next task here in this uh, challenge, we are going to take a look back at what I created here. It looks like we need to find the median, the median. In order to find the median in our data, we are going to hit the equals, M E B until it pops up. There's median. We're going to select the median, parenthesis. Highlight what median we want to find. Close parenthesis. And you get your median. I'll put a title here. And go on to our next one. Now looking down the list here, it looks like we go to our mode. Our mode. Mode. Equal sign, M-O-D-E, there it is, mode, parenthesis, highlight over top of our box, close parenthesis. Here's where it's all about. We want to talk about our maximum. Find a maximum of a list. And I know this is only 10, but this is this can be repeated for much larger lists. Maximum equals M A X M 
parentheses, and let over cup. And we know the answer looking at my column here is going to be seven. Let's double check our math. Or the parentheses, and it's seven. Do the same thing for the minimum. This is your lowest value that you did there. Equals in parentheses. Highlight over it. Minimum. Now we can do the same thing that we did for the previous uh, when we showed you on the, the average mean. Rather than type in those formulas again, we can just simply drag them over for our seconds. Bottom right corner. Maximum time. Minimum. Now we're going to put the finishing touches on this chart, and this is some of this will be a repeat from our previous Excel work, uh, workout here. But what we're going to do, uh, in order to get our boxes to separate all of our different columns, you're going to just simply highlight over the whole box and column. You're going to right click. You're going to format cells. You're going to click outline inside. Click OK. Now, last thing here we're going to do is we're going to put a nice little title box on the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two rows high by our four columns wide. We're going to highlight over top of that, create a box, and we're going to do what's called a merge cells. So we're going to right click, format cells. You're going to click under the alignment tab. We're going to center, center horizontal and vertical. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap text, merge cells, click OK, and we've now merged a cell. Now, if we go one back one more, let's put a little color on here. So what we can do, if you right click, you can actually click this fill color button. It'll color add up for us to have a little different color for our text. And just go ahead and call this your name. Catapult data. Once you've completed your chart, make sure that you have your average, median, mode, maximum, and minimum. Make sure that you, in fact, do have formulas for all of your boxes. You can then go. At this point, you have it ready to go. I uh, just want to double check that your auto save has been on. And you can hit this little save button right here. Control S, which will save it. Go ahead and close out of your document here, your Excel sheet, and go ahead and turn it in on Teams.